Having a web design business can be tricky or it can be the most amazing thing ever. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can sell $3,000 websites for your web design business, which means guys, you only need to sell two or three of these a month to start hitting that desirable six figures. I also have an example to share with you of a $3,000 website within my business that we recently delivered to one of our clients. So make sure you stick around for that. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know what a typical $3,000 website looks like for my web design business. And you're going to know how to confidently approach new businesses to start selling $3,000 websites. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Tristan Parker here, and I'm dedicated to helping you guys up your website design game and improve your business. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you're gonna be notified of future releases. Also, go check out the other videos on this channel because there's loads here to help you up your website design game and improve your business. So guys, if you haven't noticed already, I do have a pretty croaky voice and that's because I've just recovered from a cold. But I really wanted to record this content, so please do stick with me. The content is awesome and you're gonna really enjoy it. So over the past two videos in this series, I've spoken about how you can land your first paying web design client and how to land your first $1,500 web design client. And today's video, we are focusing on that $3,000 price point. Now, the purpose of these videos is to give you the tools and the confidence for you to start selling websites at multiple price points. You also get in a little sneak peek as to what a typical website looks like in my web design business and what type of functionality is included with that. You're probably thinking, Tristan, what could you cover in this video that you didn't cover in the last? Now, I just wanna make it clear that this is a $3,000 website. That means we are stepping things up a little bit. But that said, everything that we've spoken about so far is still relevant. So the way that you approach businesses, the way that you find businesses, the way that you communicate with them and how you sell to them, that all stays the same. However, there are a few things that are slightly different with the type of businesses that you might target and the type of functionality included on such a website. And we're gonna cover that in this video. So guys, if you haven't watched the other two videos yet and you don't yet feel confident enough to sell $3,000 websites, I do recommend that you go and check those out first and then I'll meet you back here. So guys, what you are gonna be learning here today, I'm gonna to try and keep really simple. I'm gonna be showing you what type of businesses you can be reaching out to at this price point. I'm gonna show you the type of functionality included on a typical $3,000 website. And I'm gonna show you an example of a $3,000 website in my business. So let's get started and talk about what type of business you can be targeting. Now, in the past two videos, I suggested that you should be targeting small to medium sized businesses, typically businesses that have a staff count of less than five. Now, in this case, we wanna be stepping that up a little bit more. So we wanna be targeting businesses that have maybe a staff count more than five or is generating six figures. Businesses that are generating six figures or multiple six figures, if you approach them trying to sell them a $3,000 website, they are more likely going to say yes than a business that is perhaps generating $50,000 a year. You also wanna be looking out for businesses that serve their customers on a national level, or you wanna be looking out for brick and mortar stores that have multiple locations. So an example of such a business might be a small retail store looking to start selling their products to customers around the country. Or another one might be a small to medium sized restaurant that has multiple locations around the country. So the opportunities here are huge. Now, one thing to note is when you start targeting larger businesses, getting hold of the business owner can be a little bit more difficult. Perhaps you would get through to their assistant or their receptionist. Let's call them the gatekeeper. It just requires a little bit more digging, a little bit more work in order to get a conversation with that business owner. But guys, you do need to get through to either the business owner or the decision maker in order to get them to say yes to a new website. Now let's not forget that they are just another business owner, so there's nothing to be intimidated by here, okay? So now I wanna talk about what features exist within a $3,000 website. Now, the main thing that causes the website price to come up is the type of features that are included in this website. So for example, your potential customer might require something like a blog or they might require a portfolio, or they might be looking to sell products on their website, which means they're gonna need e-commerce functionality. Or on the flip side, they might not require this additional functionality, but they do require things like custom content or SEO content, maybe some custom photography. These are also things that might drive the price of the website up too. Now guys, if you follow any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Elementor, and that's because Elementor can take care of a lot of custom functionality that I probably wouldn't be able to do 
myself by writing code. That means that I'm actually able to take care of more of the web design project myself, which means that I have more profit. Now you will find that as a web design business owner or a freelance web designer, there'll be times where you can't take care of everything. And if you try to, you might end up delivering a shitty website to your clients and we don't want that. In order to deliver an exceptional website to your clients, there might be times where you have to rely on third party help. And this is help that will fill in the areas that you are weaker at. And needing to hire third party help is another reason why the price of the website will increase. So for example, if this website you're delivering needs additional development and you're unable to deliver that development, you're gonna have to hire a developer to take care of that for you. But that means that developer needs paying, which is gonna eat into the profit margin of your website project. This also goes for websites that are perhaps a little bit more basic in terms of functionality, but require custom content. You are going to have to hire a content creator or an SEO copywriter to take care of all the website content. And again, that's gonna eat into your profit margin. This also goes for photography. If you need to hire a photographer to go into the business and take photography, edit them and supply them, that again is gonna eat into your profit margin. So you, again, you need to take that into consideration when pricing for the project. So hopefully you can see that there's quite a few variables that would change the price of the website and quickly bring it up to that free for maybe even $5,000 mark. Now, $5,000 websites we're gonna be talking about next time, so I'm not gonna to touch too much on that now. So if you're able to take everything we've spoken about so far and apply it to your business, and you're able to sell two to three websites a month, which is definitely doable, you could quickly be on your way to having a six-figure web design business. Now, moving on to the bit that you have most likely stuck around for, and that is seeing what a $3,000 website looks like in my own web design business. I'm gonna bring it on screen shortly. Now, before we do that, I just wanted to say that over 70% of you watching my content have not yet subscribed. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification as well, and you'll be notified of future releases. Now also, go and check out the other videos on this channel. They're all designed to help you up your website design game and improve your business. Now, this is a real life project that my business recently delivered to one of our clients and they were super happy with it. And we were happy with it as well, but hopefully this is gonna give you an idea of the types of functionality that we included, how it looked. Now, this website extends our typical five page brochure and it includes some additional functionality, which I will share with you now. So let's bring it up on the screen. Now, before I show you what this brand new website looks like, I just wanted to touch on what their previous website looked like. So you can see there's a lot going on in the navigation. We have a huge blank area in the middle of the screen screen and there's quite a bit of text as you scroll down and so there's no real hierarchical flow it also doesn't have that premium elegant feel that the business is going for now moving on to the new design you can see that off the bat everything looks stunning we have great colors and we have that video that is playing in the background and we were easily able to achieve that using elemental now scrolling down again you can see that there's now hierarchy great imagery and more importantly what we have included here is a online store this means that this website can easily start selling products online and we were able to achieve this with woocommerce and elementor to build out those individual product pages and the purchase process now this website also has a great custom layout and it also features a very basic blog which again we were able to achieve using elementor so there you have it guys hopefully you found that really useful you now know what type of businesses to be approaching for that three thousand dollar website website mark also you know what type of features and functionalities are included in a three thousand dollar website and you've seen a real life example of what a three thousand dollar website looks like in my own web design business now next up in this series we're going to be talking about five thousand dollar websites i'm going to share with you another example of what a five thousand dollar website looks like in my business and how you can go about starting to sell five thousand dollar websites for your business now guys i just want to say thanks for sticking with me if you're still here my voice is so croaky and it feels weird even recording this, but I really did want to get this content out. Now, before I go, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well and you'll be notified of future releases. There are also tons of other videos on this channel which are designed to help you up your website design game and improve your business. So go and check those out as well. Now that's it for now guys and I will see you in our next video.